you know what? I'm one of your loved ones. So make sure that if you look, if you're enjoying the show, if you enjoy what I'm doing, make sure that you like and subscribe. I really would appreciate that. But um, let's get to our first topic today. Our first topic today. Our first topic starts in good old bluegrass, Kentucky. Good old bluegrass, Kentucky, man. Uh, the most, it seems like the most hick states, or I don't want to call it, say hick, but it seems like the most, you know, conservative states, they, they have the most gun violence, it would appear. It just, you know, I, we, can, we only can read so much uh, um, or in, in, and see so many videos and only so many instances get actual coverage, right? But my thing is this, what happened was apparently there's this guy that has, that's affiliated with this bank in downtown Louisville and it ended up with six people being killed and five people being injured, or I could be wrong. I don't want to disrespect. Um, no, five people killed and six others were injured. And there are some people that's in critical um, condition. Uh, we don't know what happened. We don't know if they took that man last do- dollar. We don't, or that woman who for that for that fact. But um, it's kind of it's so weird. It's so weird. There's so many things to unpack in this because first of all, they're trying to vote to put. Guns in the schools, right? You're trying to put, vote to put guns in the schools. That's supposed to help. And we got all this technology, so we ain't talking like yeah, bank, armed guards, and stuff like that. They're supposed to. That's you can expect that, but not walking around the school. So in a situation where where you where you know that there's going to be security there that has weapons and whatnot, you know these things, and yet it still happened. So I. I so I'm, that's throwing that idea out the window to put more guns and stuff in school. So there's that. Um, and then what else do we got? It's in downtown, so so the police response should be like that. And it's it's a lot of things that we think should happen. But you know what? There's always thoughts and prayers. There's always thoughts and prayers now. But. One of the people that said thoughts and prayers the loudest was the mayor of Louisville. And I believe that the governor came and spoke too. I believe it's all, they all right there, probably the, the, the mayor and the governor and the king of Louisville. Back in the day, it would have been Rick Pitino probably talking, but it's not time for jokes. But they, they went up there and said, we need the thoughts and the prayers. And I decided, you know what? I'm going to do you a favor. Let me do you a favor. I'm going to do you a favor. See, what I can do within my power is I can do thoughts and prayers. I can bring attention to this using my platform I, and, and, and to different things. So I got, let Lord me handle the thoughts and prayers. And then how about the powers to be like yourselves? How about y'all do the rest of the dirty work? That's, is that fair? Can y'all, can y'all handle like the actual like, Putting in, putting laws together and passing them through so that people can be in a safer place. Can we get rid of all the extra guns that really don't need to be there? Can we do better background checks on people with mental issues? I know you people fly under the radar when they've never done anything before, but hey, we saw what happened in Tennessee. That person had some issues. They were able to obtain and purchase weapons down in Tennessee and just up north of you. Something like this happens. So let me do the thoughts and prayers. I got y'all on that. I promise you. I got you. I'm going to pray profusely. Matter of fact, and I'm going to think about it. I'm going to continue. I'm going to spread it. I'm going to spread my show. I'm making its own clip. And there we're going to do all the thoughts and prayers. I got that. But I need y'all to put in, put in the actual work. You know, the people, the movers and shakers that actually, you know, do things. I don't know, BG, does that make sense? Yes. Yeah, so, I mean, and he's dumb. So, that being said, um, again, my thoughts, my prayers, and everything go out to the people of Louisville, to everybody that was affected by this. And for those leaders of that city, so they have friends and all that stuff to say thoughts and prayers. We need thoughts and prayers. No, we need you to go upstairs and sign some papers. Got it? Got it. Take that. I'll do the I'll do the hard part. You just you just handle the easy part, which is doing your job. Thanks for watching.
Make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms. Don't forget, every Thursday, the full podcast is on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Mama, I'm on Spotify. Overall 99 ENT bring you videos from Friday all the way to Friday. So be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate it. Again, thank you so much. I holla.